Hello friends, I am Rajan and you are watching Amortized Minds. Today I am going to show you how to use RPC program in C. And I am going to execute one program factorial. Let's get started. First of all, let's create one folder fact on desktop. Now open command prompt and uh, move to the move to this new folder desktop fact. Now we need to make one file fact.x. So use this command gedit fact.x. Okay, in this file we need to make uh, one structure and uh, we need to give some structural overview of this program. So in this structure we have make one structure s and uh, define one integer a. And here pro in this program we are giving the name of this program fact program. And then here is the version of this function which we are going to write which is fact verse and uh, equal to one is the version number and here the this address is having eight digits which you can give uh, any eight digits so now this is the our actual function which is factorial and our input is structure as is the argument to this function which we will give from client side and this integer which is the return type so our uh, result will be in integer format now let's save this file and now let us compile this file using rpc gen slash capital c here it will be fact.x rpc capital c fact.x and you can you will notice that uh, there is uh, some other files will be generated on this folder now make make file using just append slash a on the previous command some more files will be generated so here you can see fact here our important files are fact client and fact server so on fact server you can notice that our main function is fact factorial underscore one underscore svc and s which is our structure this will be input from client side okay so now let's execute this function or let us just write logic what we are going to do in this function this function will be executed on server side so we have declared one variable answer i which is just the logic what we are doing and this is argp and which we are accessing arguments from client side the client will pack all the arguments in this structure and then we can use this structure to find our number which we are so we have found result and uh, we are just printing result on server side this is everything happening on server side in this program there is one mistake uh, we need to write argp desk a instead of n which will be corrected in later part on client side you can notice we are creating this this is already created there is one client object then there will be one pointer where result will be stored then there is one structure of uh, s then we are just uh, connecting client and server and then uh, here client equal equal null it is checking that if both are connected or not and uh, after that there is result underscore one equal to factorial underscore one it means it is saying that execute factorial underscore one which is the main function is factorial and its version is one on server side 
and the arguments are packed in this factorial underscore one underscore argument. So whatever arguments we want to pass to server side, we can modify this structure factorial underscore one underscore argument, and then it will be sent to server side. Then result underscore one. After executing this method on server side, result will come in this result underscore one. So now let us modify our argument. We can also give manual number like uh, 4 or instead we can also give tech input from console. So here we are taking input from console. Here again there is a mistake there will be dot a instead of dot n which will be corrected in later part. Now, if there is there will be any problem, then uh, this result underscore one equal to equal to null. All this, if there is if the call is failed, then the this portion will be executed. And if everything is fine, then we can write our result or we can print our result using else statement. So in this else, there will be no error and uh, we are getting actual result and now let us just print this result on client side so here we are just printing the result Now let us compile client and server both files. First of all, let us compile server file. So for this, write this command. Here we are, we are having this problem. We wrote structure dot n. Instead, we need to write structure dot a every time, everywhere. So now if you compile using max statement then the now just run this server file using dot slash fact underscore server now open other, another terminal where we will run client server client side so go to the directory which is in desktop fact now use this command dot slash fact underscore client and use argument local host to run okay here it is asking number and giving result back you can execute this two three times and you can see results from both client and server side Okay, thank you guys for watching my video.